Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys and I am here at Detroit Airport about to board my first leg of my flight to get to my destination of Norway. I am solo traveling. It's just me, Brian's not here. Now, I asked in the community tab about a week ago if you guys wanted to hear my story about how one of the legs of these flights were canceled and what I did to fix it so that I wouldn't ultimately be screwed and I could still make it to my final destination of Tromso, Norway. So it was 100% unanimous. Every single one of you wanted this video that voted. So let's talk about it. So first, let me share my plans with you. Right now I'm here in Detroit and I am flying to Amsterdam and then I'm flying to Bergen, Norway, and then taking a domestic flight to Tromso, Norway, which is my final destination for now. Now, this does happen. The more often that you fly, and you should fly a lot, travel often and pack well, bad things are gonna happen, you know? It sucks, like your flight's gonna get canceled, you're gonna miss a flight, you're gonna lose the bag, whatever. Just stay calm and try to problem solve. That's the first thing that you can do, okay? So let's rewind to a couple of days ago. I wanna do like a spinny effect here. I'm not sure if I know how. I open up my email, I'm like, huh, what's, what's going on? Flight canceled. And you know what they basically said? Good luck. Good luck, Lauren. We're not putting you on a new flight. We don't know what we're gonna do yet, so good luck. Yeah, well, you know what? I have a particular set of skills, okay? I will get myself on another flight. Watch me. So I went to my office and I got out the following things. My computer, my spreadsheet, my phone, a piece of paper and a pen, and most importantly, sky scanner. So I just landed in Amsterdam and I can't believe it, but the whole flight, I saw the northern lights from my window. So the worst thing was that my flight was canceled from Amsterdam to Bergen and that is the flight that's kind of right in between all the other flights so I was gonna go from Detroit hang out in Amsterdam spoiler alert which is where I am right now and then I was still going to need to get to Bergen somehow so my first thought was to look at another KLM flight and I found one at 11.45 that I really wanted. So I wrote that one down. But I also thought maybe I could find other flights if KLM was gonna cancel that one or if it was going to be full on other airlines that are going from Amsterdam to Bergen that same day as well. And then another thought that I had was actually why don't I look at flights that go from Amsterdam all the way to Tromso and completely skip Bergen altogether. And I wrote all of those down on my piece of paper so that I could be prepared. I had their flight numbers and times and airlines ready to go so that I could do some of the work for them. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna to come to these conversations prepared. I also wrote down the option to perhaps get my money back so that I could buy myself one of these flights with that refund. So now I was prepared and I was ready to make contact. I called the KLM customer service line and then I also online chatted them at the same time. And the reason why I did that is because you never really know who's gonna answer first. These days you could be on hold for seven hours talking to an airline, but maybe a real person can actually come on the chat with you, or even if it's just a robot on the other end, maybe it can direct you in the right direction. So funny enough, the phone people did not pick up whatsoever, and I got through with chat first. They had explained to me that even though it was a KLM flight that was canceled, it was on my reservation that I had booked with Delta. Delta and KLM are partners. So even though that Delta partner canceled it, I still had to talk to Delta. So they were basically like, 
girl, I can't help you, bye. Call them. And I was like, okay. So then I got on a chat and a phone call, same exact situation with Delta instead. Called the customer service line, got on to Messenger, and surprisingly, they actually both picked up at the same time. And so I said, well, you know, let's have a race. Let's see who can help me up first and who has more options too, you know? So I'm on the phone with the person and they're like, it doesn't even say that it's canceled. I have to call KLM. I'm like, I just talked to KLM. They told me to talk to you. She's like, okay, let me put you on hold and see what I can do. She never even got back to me. But simultaneously, I was on the online chat and this guy, you know, I explained to him everything that was happening. Hi, my flight was canceled. I need to get on a new one. Okay, sure, let me check things out. And then I said, I have a flight I would like to get on. It is the 1145 flight out of Amsterdam to Bergen. And he's like, all right, great, let me check it out. And then he said, I can't just put you on that flight in replacement of the flight that was canceled, but I can switch your entire reservation. It's the same day, it's just instead of the 4.20 p.m. flight, it's the 6 p.m. flight instead. And I said, you know what? As long as I am in Bergen before two o'clock, I'm good. Put me on whatever flight that you want to on this specific day. And that's ultimately what ended up happening. Now let's go fly to Bergen. So now we're here in Bergen and I just have a little bit of a layover. I have to say I'm very happy with how the flight turned out. I'm so glad that they were able to put me on that 1145 flight and it turned out so well. Now I do want to take time in this video to talk about third party bookings and why it's a bad idea. Now I could do an entire video on this, but this is important to talk about in this video because had I booked that flight on something like Expedia or booking.com or one of those third party sites that seem like they would be really good because it's cheaper, but it's really not and for the following reasons. A, if I would have booked on there and KLM would have canceled the flight, then they might not have contacted me. It could have just been a total surprise because a lot of those times they don't think that they have to contact you. Also, there's no way that I could have contacted KLM or Delta myself and gotten a flight changed because had I done that, they would have said, girl, you gotta talk to your third party site that you booked it through. I can't do anything to help you. And then also too, had I contacted that third party site, they might not have been able to change anything on their own or even possibly give me money back sometimes. So it's just not a good idea in the world of flight cancellations right now. Also on the note of helpful tips, I do wanna talk about travel credit cards and trip insurance real quick because I did book this on a travel credit card, which means that I did have built in travel insurance had all of my other options failed, which means I could have filed a claim and gotten some money back. Now, if you don't book it with a travel credit card, I guess that's okay too. You can just buy trip insurance when you buy the flight, and then that way you're a little bit protected if something like this happens. All right, let's head to Tromso. All right, guys, so I am here on top of a mountain in Tromso. I have had such a fun couple of hours so far. So it goes to show that even if one of your flights is canceled, just follow everything that I said and hopefully you can still get there on time and everything will be great. Just remember to get trip insurance, just remember to not book third party and just to stay nice and in a calm demeanor and just problem solve, all right? Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'm gonna go play in the snow.